Hey, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today we're looking at the solo play in It's a Wonderful World. This is a card drafting and tableau building game in sort of the same vein as Seven Wonders for one to five players. Now, there's two different ways to play solo, although they're fairly similar to each other. First, you can do one of the solo scenarios, which gives you a specific set of cards that you start with under construction, and you have different uh, victory point totals you want to work toward. Or you can just play the regular solo mode, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. Quick disclaimer that this is a review copy I was sent, and I only got the core game. I know there were some expansions in the Kickstarter that add some extra components and also some extra stuff to the solo mode, but I'm not showing that off just uh, what you would get with the base game. Setup's really quick. You put together this little central board, and you lay out each of the resource types. You see you've got five different colors here, each on their own space. You also put down some financiers, some generals, and Crystallium and their general supply. And you can mark the round. Uh, the game goes through four rounds, but it's actually not really necessary in solo play. And uh, you shuffle the giant deck of development cards all together. And you create eight piles of five cards. And you're basically going to go through two of these piles for each of the four rounds in the game. That's why I've kind of got them divided up into four different sections. Finally, you pick either an A or a B side, one of the five Empire cards. Uh, the A sides are different in that they each have different bonuses and different resources generated. The B sides are tougher to get higher scores because they have no extra bonuses and they all have the exact same number of resources. For this game, I want to show off more combos and get to a higher score. So we're going to play the Aztec Empire, which is going to get me three times the number of exploration cards I get. And I'm generating two black resources and one blue resource at the start. And that's it for setup in the base solo game. If I was playing one of the scenarios, the only addition would be I would start with certain cards again from the deck that were already in play. Now the basics of gameplay in It's a Wonderful World are very simple. So you're going to start by drawing one of these five card hands. And each of them is a development that you can construct. And they show what resources are needed to finish it off. So like this one needs two of the, I don't know what it is, metal. Uh, this one needs a bunch of the blue. Some of them need generals or financier tokens to uh, complete them. So with the cards in your hand, you have five in the solo game, you can choose to put some of them under construction, which means they just sit here until you complete all of the resources you need. And then they move up here above your empire card and they give you persistent production. So like the Lost Continent of Mu, once I build it, I'll get one yellow production every round. Oh man, this is actually a great combo with what I'm going to be doing later. Many of them will also have immediate bonuses when you first build them, so this won't get you two Crystallium when you build it. But it's only when you build it, after that you just pay attention to the victory points and the uh, production capability. Now your second option if you don't want to put something under construction because, you know, you need more resources and if you just construct everything you'll never get enough to finish them all. You can also recycle a card to get one of the indicated resource. And whenever you get a resource, you have to either immediately put it on a card that can hold it or immediately put it on your empire. Now, we already said if it goes on a card that can hold it, you're working toward finishing off that card and adding it to your production. But if you put it on your empire, it does nothing except sit there until you get five cubes of any colors. And that becomes one Crystallium, which is basically a wild. Some spaces will require Crystallium to build on a development, but they can also go on any colored space. Not in a general or a financier space, but any colored space can uh, be taken up with a Crystallium. So ideally, you want to be producing onto cards whenever possible, because just putting things on your empire is usually not very efficient. Now your final option, which is special in solo, is you can discard two cards of any type to draw five more cards from the deck. So not the cards you prepared, but from the main deck. And you pick one of them. So it kind of lets you dig for specific things that might fit into your combo. Like, uh, as you already saw, I'm going to be going for the little treasure exploration cards. So, uh, you know, digging for those might help me to get a lot of points. Once you've gone through your first pile of five cards, you go through a second one. And then after every two piles of five cards, you do production to end the round. And how production works is you gain the resources shown. And if you've built anything extra, you also gain extra resources. But the key thing is the resources have a very specific order. So you always do gray first, then black, then green, then yellow, then blue. And that's important because if you finish a development that was under construction, like if I get uh, three black cubes to finish off this airborne laboratory, that card immediately goes above my empire and I'll get these other production resources in this turn if they come later after black. So here I would get a green and I would get a blue. And a final thing in production, you'll see an image of either a financier or a general. And in the case of the science green cubes, you have both. If you produce at least five of the indicated resource in a solo game, you get one of those tokens. And these are worth one victory point by themselves, but as you saw, some of the cards also require them, and they're also cards that will give you bonus points for having them. 
And that's basically it. You play for four rounds, and then you count up all the victory points of cards. Some cards just give you victory points straight up. You count up all the victory points from your financiers and generals, and then you also count up all of your multiplying victory point bonuses. And with regular solo play, kind of like with scenarios, you have a little score threshold that will tell you how well you did. So you're trying to get above 100, which uh, so far I've not been able to do. All right, so those are the basics. Let's jump in. All right, so as I already showed, the Aztec Empire is going to give me three times the number of these blue expiration cards I build. So clearly this is giving me kind of a guide to my initial strategy to get a whole bunch of those. I'm also producing two black and one blue resource, so I want to find cards that'll work with that. So look at my first five cards. I've got an underground city. It doesn't go with anything I produce. It doesn't help me get any uh, points, really, except for the three it has. An airborne laboratory. I do produce black pretty well, so I might want to do that one, and it'll get me some green and blue resources. I've got two blue cards. I definitely want to build at least one of these. Ancient astronauts will just give me 10 victory points straight up. I just need a bunch of blue and a general. And it will produce more science, which again doesn't really go with blue cards. And then Lost Continent of Mu will give me two times the number of blue cards. So I definitely want to get that. That would give me five victory points for each blue card with my empire bonus. And it just needs blue. It'll give me some crystallium. And it produces yellow. So maybe I'm crazy, but for now I think I want to build both of the blues and try to get as many of them under construction as I can. And it seems to also make sense to start constructing this airborne laboratory because I'm going to get two blacks for my empire. If I can find one more from recycling a card, oh, like the underground city, I can recycle that for one black. That will finish that off and get me some more green and blue even this production turn. So yeah, let's make all of those. Uh, underground city, not really needing it. Recycling plant just gets me more gray, but I don't have any way to get gray yet. So I'm definitely going to recycle this for one black resource. And I have to either put it on my Empire, which would just build up to a Crystallium, or on a development, so I'll put it on my Airborne Laboratory. And the Recycling Plant. And if I had two cards, I could discard to uh, dig through the deck for five cards, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just recycle this for a gray. I don't really want to put it down. But then again, this gray is just one-fifth of a wild. I don't know if that's worth it. And maybe I'll go crazy and construct this. If I later get, like, two gray cards in a row to recycle, then that'll give me some actual gray production. Not sure if it'll be worth it, but you can always recycle cards that are under construction later. They have to go to your empire, but that's the option I'm considering right now anyway, so it doesn't really hurt me at all to keep this under construction at first. All right, zooming out a bit as my pile grows, we're going to look at my next five cards. And don't forget, I've already got the two black production to get my airborne laboratory. That'll get me uh, two blue this turn, so slowly work my way toward these. I also have one green, which at this point is not going to help me with anything. All right, so I got some more blue cards. I mean, I can't just build those because none of the blue cards actually produce more blue. So to kind of combo into them, i got to find something that makes me some blue. Right, so let's see, wind turbines. I mean, no, I don't really need more black, and I certainly don't have the gray to build them. I could recycle them for another black, though. It'll get me the Airborne Laboratory. Although, I guess I don't really care. I'm going to get that anyway. Fountain of Youth gives me points for generals. I guess that could be useful. And three Castallium for building it. That's pretty good. I mean, geez, I'm spending seven to build it and getting three wilds from doing so, so it almost kind of half pays for itself eventually. Uh, human Cloning. Yeah, I don't care too much about it. It gets me yellow, which I don't really need yet. Uh, military base. Oh, I could uh, put the gray on my recycling plant. And Roswell gets me science. Now, I do think science cards often give me blue, so maybe I can do kind of a science and uh, exploration thing back and forth. Oh, interesting. Both of these give me multipliers for generals. I don't know if I'll ever be able to build this many blues, but if I did, I'd kind of have two main sources of victory points. Okay, the two I know I really don't care about are human cloning and wind turbines. We need to discard the two of those to dig for five cards in the deck and pick one of them. All right, let's see. Ooh! Tank Division produces a blue and gets me a general. That seems pretty good for what I'm doing right now. Uh, time travel, 15 points, but I don't think we'll be able to build that. Oh my gosh, Underwater City. Two blue and a green every turn. I have to find a way to get the yellow, though, but I can get the rest. That seems like a pretty good one. Yeah, that doesn't really do much for me. And neither does that. So it's clear between Underwater City and Tank Division. Underwater City is better overall for me, I think, but I don't know where I'm going to get those yellows unless I uh, recycle cards for them. And in my current hand, I don't have anything that gets me yellow. Whereas Tank Division, I should be able to build to pretty quickly. Although Underwater City actually has a victory point value. And the other option would be to take uh, Tank Division just to recycle it. I could recycle it and Military Base, get the recycling plant, and start building up grays right away. I wouldn't be able to put them on anything this turn, but they would get me closer, almost halfway to a Crystallium. But no, I think I need a lot more blue and maybe some green production, so let's go the risky route for now. Right, and then I'm going to be completely insane and uh, build both those blues 
and I'll recycle the military base to be halfway to getting the recycling plant. All right, so I've gone through my first two hands of five cards, so now I produce. I've got just two black and one blue at the moment. So you go in order, I'm producing no gray, I'm producing two black. If I had five, I'd get a free general. And with the two blacks, I'll finish off the airborne laboratory. So that comes immediately. It has no build bonus, but I do get to add it to my income, which means I'm gonna get two blue and one green this turn now. So the one green will come and then I'll get the two blue. I can only put the green on my underwater city unless I wanna sort of waste it on my uh, empire. Let's see, I have no yellow income yet, so I guess I'll work on the Lost City of Mu first, and that's also a fairly quick one to finish. So looking for next round, I definitely want to try to get two yellows, because uh, then with my already two black income, I'll get a ton more blue and green and be able to kind of finish these cards off more quickly. All right, so we're jumping into round two. We'll go through two sets of five cards again. So let's see, Crypto Preservation. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care about anything on this. I'm not trying to go for finance here. Ooh, but it does have a yellow, so I'll certainly recycle that right away. And that gets me halfway to the underwater city limit. Two mega drills. Hmm. I could do one of these. I mean, another blue wouldn't hurt me, and I can certainly afford it, especially, ooh, if I use the other one to finish off the recycling plant, I'd have some gray production. Lunar base. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do it, but it doesn't really seem to be too good for me. Oh, another recycling plant? Huh. I guess I could theoretically get two mega drills, potentially. Yeah, so let's uh, recycle this recycling plant to finish the other one. So it does immediately go to my production. No bonus, but now I'll have uh, two gray cubes produced. This does give me two generals, but I mean, it's kind of off of what I want to try. I think I'm going to discard two of these and uh, dig for five cards and see if I can get something better. Right, let's see, more black production, not that important. Now, three times the number of sciences. Currently, I'm not building any of those, so no. Another yellow, I mean, I could certainly use that. Research center for more science, or a zeppelin for more blue. Oh, and it only takes two black, which I can do in a single uh, production phase. But I, I'd rather not take the chance that I might not get a yellow in my next hand, so let's just go ahead and get the giant tower and recycle it right away for my second yellow on the underwater city. And then mega drill, I will be able to build this turn. Oh, oh I guess I won't, I don't have enough black. You know, I should maybe get more black production, but for now I'm gonna put it under construction. Okay, my second set of five before we finish the round. Supercomputer, no. I mean, I got a ton more yellow. I guess I didn't need to really worry about it. Ooh, ooh. Two times another multiplier for my exploration ones. Okay, definitely under construction for you, which is good. I'll have more things to use yellow on. And another Zeppelin. Okay, now I'm really wishing I had more black production. And none of the recipes really excite me much. I guess I could put two yellow toward the museum, which wouldn't finish it off, but would get me close. But it doesn't have any production. I can wait on that until later. Yeah, so maybe I'm going to discard two of these to dig. Ooh, giant damn tons of black production, although it would take me a long time to afford it. Nuclear plant, that would be easier for a little bit less black production. Yeah, that could work. That would actually give me five black production, which would get me a, a general every production phase, so maybe I could do that. I'm only getting two gray a turn, so it would take a while to finish. And then, yeah, I mean, more things that need black. I think I need the black production to be able to finish these off. So sure, let's try again the nuclear power plant under production. And I guess I could construct the Zeppelin because theoretically once I finish the power plant, I'll have the black I need to finish it off. So sure, let's uh, recycle the secret society to put one on a museum. And let's complicate things a little bit more with a Zeppelin hanging out over there. All right, so uh, we're going to production. I'm producing two gray, two black, one green, two blue, although that will increase in a moment. Two gray comes first. So let's see, if I put it on the nuclear plant, and I could finish it faster, but if I put it on the mega drill, uh, but I need the black to finish the mega drill. Okay, let's put it on the nuclear plant. Now I get the two black cubes, which will finish off the underwater city, getting me a green and two blue the same turn. So we're getting two green. One I can put on the nuclear power plant, but one I don't need, so that'll go on my empire. And again, when I get five uh, colors on there, I'll get a red crystallium. And the really good one is four blue. That'll finish off the lost continent of Mu which gets me uh, two Crystallium immediately, and I already passed yellow production, so I won't get it this turn, but next turn I'll get one yellow as well. Now, Crystallium can be used whenever the heck you want. So, like, if I hadn't gotten two black production yet, I could have used, like, the two Crystallium to finish off the nuclear plant and get some more production. Uh, clearly, it's not going to happen yet, but it'll just hang out until I want to use it. It has a lot of uh, utility that way. All right, well, we're halfway through the game. Uh, we're going to our next set of five cards. Another blue. I mean, I think I got to go for it, right? I... I'm kind of locked into a strategy here, so yes. 
Transportation network doesn't produce me anything. I don't think I need that. Ooh, but it does have an extra gray, which could get me the mega drill and the nuclear power plant to finish this next production phase. Climate control. I do have two green a turn, but I don't think I'm gonna get that many over the course of the game. Ooh, icebreaker. Yes, that would give me something else to use my green on. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, maybe start building the icebreaker. And gosh, I could just recycle all of these. Yeah, you know what, let's do it, because I do need yellow and black and gray. So the gray I can put on the mega drill, and uh, the black as well, because then if I get another black in my next hand, I'll actually have this finish in time to get its gray production. And the yellow will go on the museum, which means now with the new production I got from the Lost Continent of Moo, I'll be able to finish that off next turn. It's not going to get me any extra production, but at least it'll be out of the way. On my second hand of five, we got another blue, which is pretty quick to build, so yeah, I mean, I'm just going to try to get every one of these I can. Um, this gets me more science, but it's only worth one. I'm not going for a lot of science cards. Also gets me more science. Solar cannon. Ooh, more general production, although I haven't even gotten any yet. But in theory, that could be good. I don't know if I have enough uh, yellows to make it work. I could instead discard it to finish off the mega drill. Military base I could build to get an extra general. Uh, well, here, let's discard both of these and dig and see what else we find. Okay, don't care. Ooh, polar base. Oh my gosh, two times again. <laughs> God, that's a lot of yellows. Oh man, can I possibly do that? Is anything going to give me... Oh, King Solomon's Mine will give me yellow equal to factories. I've got one, so it's only one yellow right now. Ooh, Treasure of the Templar will give me two yellow? Yes, okay, we're going to go for this. We're going to be crazy. All right, so all that's left is a black and a gray. Um, I mean, we don't need the gray, so maybe I should just build it. But yeah, I think I will recycle the solar cannon to finish off the mega drill. And I guess I could build the military base. I can recycle it later if I need to. All right, so we got a lot of options here. Ah, I'm never going to finish all this stuff. Now, you do not lose any points for having things unconstructed, and you can always, again, recycle them just to go to your uh, thing, but, I mean, that's not a great thing to do. All right, so we're getting uh, three gray. So two of them will finish off the nuclear plant, and the last one will start off the military base. And that's great, because now we're going to get three more black production, which is going to be huge. Ooh, we actually get five black production. And don't forget, in the solo game, if you get at least five of something, you get the indicated token. So good, we're finally generating generals a little bit late. Where do I want my five black cubes to go? Ooh, I could finish off the Zeppelin and the Icebreaker uh, since I'll get a science this turn. That seems pretty good because that would get me a ton more blue to really power through these things. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, three on the Icebreaker and two finishes off the Zeppelin. Maybe I should have gone for bonuses from uh, black army cards because I'm getting a lot of them. All right, next is science. I'm just getting two, but I mean, that's more than I need again. I'm just gonna finish off the Icebreaker. The other one will go over here, two fifths of the way to Crystallium. Oh man, oh man, I'm going to get a lot of uh, blue this round, which is great. But yellow is first, and unfortunately I'm only getting one. Now I don't need to finish off the museum until later, so let's start working on the polar base. But my yellow should increase in a second when I get some of these uh, blue cards up. And speaking of blue, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue. Yes! If I get at least five blue, it's also a general bonus. So between my black and my blue, I'm going to get uh, two generals every round. Nice. Although there's only one production round left after this, so it's not as good. Let's see, I want to finish off the ones that are going to produce stuff I need. So let's do uh, the five for the treasure of the Templars. That'll leave me with three. And that'll get me two more Crystallium. And then I'll put three on King Solomon's mind. And what the heck, we'll go to use Crystallium to get the fourth so we don't have to worry about it. And that'll get me yellow production equal to the number of factories I have made, which is two. So that's four more yellow. That'll easily finish off all the ones I currently have. It's a nice. I have a bunch of yellow production, which will get me a financier, which is only one victory point, but that's okay. A bunch of blue production, although, I mean, I'm going to need all the crystallium to maybe finish all of these off. But yeah, we're uh, doing pretty well with our little synergies here. Let's go to our final sets of cards. All right. Secret laboratory. I don't care. Ooh. Atlantis, it's a blue card and it doubles my general value. Can I finish it? I don't care, I'm gonna try. Offshore oil rig, no. Wow. Wow, three blue. Uh, three black, how much black am I producing? Five, one, two, three, four, five, hmm. Two green though, yeah, I, I gotta get that. Oh, two of them? Wow, okay, well that'll, no, I don't need the green. 
Need help with the black. So let's recycle the offshore oil rig for one more black. And I guess I'll put that on the polar base. So I'm producing five black and I've got six spots that need it. So I can use a castallium if I need to. Yeah, these other two are gonna give me green. I don't need green. I'm already producing the two I need. So let's uh, dig, I guess. Okay. Let's see, wind turbine, I don't really care. Industrial complex, same thing. Universal vaccine. I don't have that many yellow cards. It's not really worth it. Hmm. Ten and two generals. But there's no way I'm ever going to finish another huge blue, right? It's not possible, I don't think. Well, let's see. If I finish both the saucer squadron and the polar base, that's six more. One plus the three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'd be 14. And then I'm getting all this crystallium. I mean, I'm going to try it. It's crazy not to, right? It's a final set of cards. I think I'm just looking for like some free blues or something. Ooh, icebreaker. No, no, I'm going to have to spend my blacks on the uh, saucer squadron already. And all of these are yellow. Oh man, this is not helping. Yeah, way more than enough yellow. Okay, I'm going to discard the icebreaker for a blue. I think that's uh, the more logical thing. Gosh, I mean, which blue do I want? I guess the one to give me more crystallium. So we'll do fountain of youth first. But the rest of these I don't need and probably won't finish. Okay, so let's discard two of them and dig. Might just discard one of these for a blue, I think. Yes. Let's keep on trying to short my blue production. I got a green and a yellow. I certainly have enough yellow. And I have enough green, so let's dig again and try to get something else. Okay. Discard for a blue, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've tried to help myself out as much as possible. Will it be enough? I really have no idea. Let's go into production, our final, final production before we tally up the final score. I've got three gray, two will go on military base, almost finishing it, and the last one will go over here, so we're almost to an extra castallium. We've got a three non-reds. In black, we're producing five again, which is gonna get us a third general. So I'm definitely gonna put it on the polar base and the saucer squadron. And the question is, do I wanna use a castallium on the military base? Gets me a single general. And it'll produce me a green, but I have enough green. So getting rid of a Castallium to get like one fifth of a Castallium with the green, that doesn't seem like a good idea. So yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to throw away the military base and uh, just put a gray on my board and get closer to a Castallium to try to finish this other stuff off. Although in retrospect, I should have just not put the gray on that. <laughs> oh well, too late. All right, so now we get two green, which is exactly what I need for the Saucer Squadron. And we get our yellows. Uh, how many? One, two, three, plus one per factory, four, five. So one more than I need that will add with the four things I already have. And that'll give me a fourth crystallium. Of course, finish off the museum and the polar base. Polar base getting me an extra general. Oh, and sorry, I should have said uh, getting all those yellows got me a financier, which I have no bonuses for. It's just gonna be worth one victory point. All right, and now we get down to the end here. I've got a four crystallium already. Uh, we'll see if like the bonuses will let me finish everything off. I really have no idea. So I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blue. And clearly that's enough for a bonus general. All right, thirteen, thirteen. Okay, so I gotta finish off the fountain of youth. That's four of them gone. But I get a three crystallium right back, so that's nice. And next one that gives me crystallium is the ancient astronauts. So that's six. Oh gosh, I'm only down to three. And I do have to discard one of my generals for that. But it gets me two more Castallium. All right, so that's pretty much the best I can do. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve left. Oh god, I think I'm gonna be just shy of building anything great. Yeah, because this needs eight, this needs seven, and this needs six. So twelve is the worst possible number here. You know, it seems like the obvious best one is Alexander's Tomb, right? Because that's 10 plus two more generals. And right now, one of my cards gives me plus one to all my generals, so they're each worth two. So let's see, I have four of them. So this would be worth uh, two, four. That'd be worth 14 victory points to me. Because again, two for each general. If I built this one, I'd just get two more for each general, which would, with me having four of them, give me eight more victory points, not as much. And Roswell would give me one general plus one time general. Yeah, so Alexander's Tomb is by far the most valuable one for me. So I'm going to use three blues and uh, four crystalliums. And I do get two more generals immediately. Ah, oh, what a bummer, man. <laughs> I could almost get Roswell, but yeah, extra crystallium are worth nothing. So 
I uh, just can throw these cards away because the green and the yellow won't help me. All right, so we've got what I've built for my entire empire here to make it a little bit easier to keep score. Uh, all of these are just uh, military and industrial production buildings. They have no victory point value and nothing multiplies them, so I can get rid of them. So we get down to just these cards plus my inborn empire bonus of three times the number of blue cards. So first we can add up our straight up victory points. So we've got 10, 20, 25 from my blue cards and three more for the underwater city. We don't need that anymore. So that's uh, 28. Next, we've got just a one multiplier for generals and they're each worth one on their own. So we've got six, so they're each worth uh, two. So that's 12, 28, that's 40. 41 for my one random financier, get out of here. All right, so we're at 41 before hopefully the big explosion of points. So how many multipliers do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine for each blue card added on to 41. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times nine is 54 plus 41, 95. And hey, not bad. It is the closest I've come to a living God in uh, all the times I've played the game. Uh, although I was playing on, again, the A side, which leads to higher scores. If I didn't have that extra three times multiplier, I would have lost, what, 18? So my 95 would go down below 80. But there you go. That is It's a Wonderful World. Uh, you can, of course, play this competitive. And there you actually add a draft, kind of like Seven Wonders, where you pass cards around and take one each time. But uh, that's how solo play works. Good gaming, everyone, and I'll see you at the next stop.